Hello! Welcome back. It's more Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Last time we cheesed the boss and won somehow. We got a little destroyed, but uh you know, it turns out Anything new? Ninio's really good character. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I've like reworked her. Uh but I mean god dang. God dang, she carried me. I don't know how you're supposed to beat that boss otherwise. It's just like crazy. Um, but we use the strats of Run away with mirror image on. We will win this war. No one asked, Sila. I guess to be fair, I don't know if I ever got to smite the boss. I think we insta died too quickly. Um, but let's continue. We left some. Oh no, we have rope. There we go. All right, we climb. Uh, but yeah, we are still in the abyss. Um. To be honest, I don't really know exactly what we're doing. <laughs> I know we're, like, trying to go... I mean, obviously, we're killing demons, you know? Just a casual paladin Thursday, you know what I mean? Just killing some demons. Um, but I've been here before. Let us press on. Oh, so that was, like, a fully optional side boss thing? Or did I come in here? I'm lost. Was I supposed to go out over there? Maybe. 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 Hang on. So... Where is the room with all the dead bodies? I, think I came in here. And then I walked this way. Yeah, there's the room with all the, the bones, and I kited back this way when I killed it. Um, which means I then walked this way, stepped down, and I guess this is where we're supposed to go out? Question mark? We march ahead. Take me. We'll figure it out. Hello. Wait, there's dead bodies here. I've been here before. God, take a bobber. Oh, damn it, Bobby. Uh, okay. Hold up. Magical barrier. What am I doing? I mean, let's just go back in and see what happens, right? Hello? I'm lost. So there's... Two exits over here that I may or may not have been to before. Okay, wait, well, yeah, this is where the the temptress was. We killed her, and then we walked this way, and that brought me here. So maybe I do need to go. Oh, yeah, this was a dead end before. Now there's a rope. Come along, party members. Let's go. Don't have all day now. Oh, you know what? I probably don't have my sword up. I don't. Make sure I have my sword up. What's a loud one? There we go. Alright. Um. I will guide us. Hmm. Hmm. So am I supposed to go this way? I could have sworn this is where I came in, though. Godspeed. Why is there two entrances over here? I'm a little bit lost. I need an adult. Let's see what happens when I go here. There must be something over here for me. Right? Surely? What is my current objective? <laughs> uh, go into the depths of the Fane and defeat the leader of the demons. Demons must be beheaded. Yeah, okay. So... That I missed. I mean, I've been there. Magical bear. Was I supposed to... Was I supposed to turn that magical barrier off some... Alright, well, let's go back into the abyss real quick. 
uh, wrong. There we go. Wrong abyss. Haha. -ha. Okay. So maybe one of these. Maybe I need to go in one of these. Wait. Let us press on. So clearly I've been in here, right? So let's just start going in all the other places I can go. Drop down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've gone in there. Let's try one of these two. Oh, Rely on he's so me. much faster than the rest of my party. Oh, so how's everyone doing? Ma, I'm feeling. I actually had a really good day. I slept in. I took it easy. I got a three miles walk in. It was nice. Just get some... Get your steps in for the day. Um, and I've just been taking it easy. Uh, my house is pretty much good to go. I have a couch being delivered next... Uh, was it tomorrow? Sometime afternoon? I That'll be the last, us. like, big piece other than... Am I to the Fane's main halls? Godspeed. I remember this. Okay, hang on. Sorry, uh, so yeah, I have the couch, and then the last big thing that I'm doing for my house is I'm going to be soundproofing the room that I'm in. Uh, I'm going to soundproof it, and uh, I'm going to put my acoustic drum kit up instead of my electronic one. Okay, we haven't been here before. What a this is new. Oh. Uh... Here. Well, how do you do there, Captain? What if I started shooting? I will resist. That's a lot of damage. You are not having a good time here. Um, I think we'll just walk up and Begone, slap him. Fiend. Slap idiot? Oh, we missed. <laughs> I'm the idiot. The slap. Guide my blade. Okay. Uh, you can come up and slap. Is not an option. Did he do? Oh, he did. He did 114 damage. Is he crit? Uh, but now it's dead, so we have to walk over to it, and he's going to respawn. Oh, God, that's a Ninio. I thought that was Gellius. He's back. Ow. He rolled a 20. He didn't crit because he failed the critical check. That was a lot of attacks for him being able to both move and attack. Anyway, we're going to slap him. Okay, that was pretty good damage, I would say. Prepare yourself. And he's dead. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to soundproofing this room, putting my drums up. The electronic drum kit hasn't been working as well as I would have hoped. Wait, is that it? Just, uh, nothing. Let a whole lot of on. nothing? Hmm. It's like, I kind of want to play drums today, but playing on the acoustic kit, especially, or, or sorry, the electronic kit, uh, the bass drum is giving me issues. It's like, it, it slides around. It doesn't connect properly to my double kick pedals. Um, it's really kind of annoying. All right, it's official. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I am the lost. Um, but yeah, so it's like, it doesn't really connect properly. Uh, so they, it like keeps coming, s slides around a little bit and gets disconnected. We uh, and then also it just, it doesn't feel, it's close to the same as like a acoustic kit. Cause I bought a really nice electronic one. But I mean, it's still not perfect. I mean, it was a really good purchase for when I was living in an apartment. But now that I have a house and I can like soundproof a room and everything, uh, that is definitely what I would prefer. So like, did I do oh, it or maybe I can get in here now? Barrier similar ones that you've seen in the Relu's laboratory, but a little different. Seems denser, more solid, stronger. I will guide us. Alright. It's official. I am lost and confused.
Godspeed. See anything in there that I might have missed? Doesn't seem to be anything in here. Oh, there's a, there's a body. Masterwork. Basic chainmail, not worth it. Oh. Oh, hi. Does this just take me back to the main room? It does. Oh, maybe I have the piece, actually. Oh. Oh. I, I had the piece already. <laughs> Whoopsie! He is delightful. We march ahead. Okay, so let's see. Anything else we need to probably apply would be this. You should already have mirror image on. Everyone who needs to be large should already be large. Um, I can't think of anything else. I mean, maybe, do you have hurricane bow up? Yep, hurricane bow is on for another two minutes. Not, not for a super long time. Together we stand. But it's it is still on. Right, quick save. Let's do it again just in case. Hello. Feeds on. Hi. Oh. You're blinded by a sudden flash. It feels like giants are hammering on your temples, and a monstrous pain lashes your chest. Your wound has reopened at the worst possible moment and is gushing blood. You sense the malevolent proximity of the abyss can almost touch the threat emanating from it. Slowly, almost reluctantly, the wound closes, but the pain and your heightened awareness and your heightened awareness remain. All bears the traces of the huge Baylor's anchor. Some demons are lying on the floor, literally ground into a bloody mess. While the rest are cowering against the walls, the blood is not confined to the ground either, but is splashed across the face of the kneeling Monaga. It's not clear if it came from the pentagram on the Lilithu's forehead or the slash of the Baylor's claws. Let me into the rift, Tarasand! We're all going to die here! I'm trying to fight back. It's madness! No one goes into the rift. You will fight. All of you. Or else. Baylor unleashes a deafening roar, the eyes on his huge head filling with true madness. You dared to disguise your blasphemous fane with the symbol of Iomadea's sword? I call upon the wrath of her avenging blade to strike you down. Your weapon blazes with cold blue light, and the ringing of sharpened blade of a sharpened blade fills the air. The goddess has heard you. She will help you punish these blasphemers. I told you, Tarasand. Now you're going to die, and they'll hang your horned skull on the walls of Dresden. Your little troop made a fool of me at the Battle of Dresden. Finally, I can make you pay. Finally. That's that's a uh, that's a bit of wood acting up today for big monster man. No time for debates. He kill Monago? Where'd she go? Go invisible or what? So anyway, I started blasting, I guess. Um, should we just focus Dazarin before he gets to do anything? Probably so. I feel like I need to smite him, though. What's his AC? 54. Yeah, that's pretty high. I feel like she's going to have a hard time hitting him. Uh, what is your current bonus to hit? Plus 30. Yeah, so I'd literally have to roll a nat 20 to hit. Um, so let's, let's hit these guys instead. We'll, we'll, we'll buff up. Desna, get in my hand. Oh, and he's dead. Yeah, she's gonna miss him a lot. That's fine. Uh, hi. Ow. Oh, Queen Galfrey's here. What up? Okay. So, let's smite. And I feel like I should do this. I feel like I should order the God Claw up. Bonus increases by plus one, fifth level, ninth level. 
it's only a plus one bonus to AC, actually. Because I think uh, this only goes up if you level up his Hell Knight instead of Fighter. I've been leveling him up as a Fighter instead of a Hell Knight, so I'm pretty sure it's not actually more than plus one. So bonus increased by plus one at fifth level and ninth level, but he's not a ninth level uh, guy. He, he's, a, he's a Fighter, man. Anyway. Oh, could I not hit him? Rejo? Rejo? There we go. Yeah, seven attacks. Let's do it. Kneel before me. Okay. Oh, we've landed some hits. You say he's pretty hard to hit. But I mean that's a pretty good start. Ow. Oh, hello, visible guy. Alright. Let me have my turn, game. Alright, so here's what we do. We quick cast Divine Flavor. Oh shit, I fucked up already. <laughs> I needed to smite him. Oh, dang it. Alright, it's fine. That was definitely a mistake. I, I forgot you can't quick... I, I forgot that counts as a quick cast. I mean, I'm still gonna go for a full round attack. Maybe I'll hit him once or something. Uh, no, what I should have done is I should have delayed his turn until after her. Let her smite him. I quick cast Divine Favor and then full round attack. That would have been the best play. Yeah, see, I, I can't hit him without the smite. The smite would have made a big difference. Um, here's what we do. She gets to go before him. Let's just touch her. Okay, so that's good. And then luck as well. And that's it. That's that's easy. Simple. Alright, you are gonna pop off here. Of that I am most certain. So the only thing is I can't do this, otherwise it counts as my quick cast. But I can Do I even want to waste my time hasting? I feel like I just I just kill. You know what I mean? Uh, what is this a 7th level? That's 7th level. That's 8th level. This is a greater quicken. So I can greater quicken this. This is just going to be disgusting damage. Oh, I can hit all three of them? Okay. Uh, and then I can literally just cast it again. Blaster caster, baby! That's This seems... Not fair. So anyways, you're dead. Oh, that happened. Also, he exploded. That's not very nice of you. Alright, so is there someone invisible over here? There must be, huh? Oh, yep. How do you do there, partner? You know what? I'm just gonna smite you. He's smitten, sir. And then we're just gonna chill over here. Come at me, brother bands. Alright, you're, you're toast. Yep. Alright, well... Hmm. I wonder if she's a little too overpowered now. Rifts are usually chaotic and unstable. That's why I've been plagued by one question. How could demons have created a stable, permanent passage from the Abyss here in the world world? And as I stare into the flames of the rift itself, the answer still eludes me. What is the secret to this canker festering at the very heart of our world? How can we heal it? My friends and comrades, the time has come for us to discuss something of the utmost importance. It is here, on the threshold of the abyss, that I must announce an important decision before you all. But first, we shall talk about you, Commander about how well you have discharged the duties I entrusted to you. Could I turn the audio up? Hmm. I could. Yeah, it's probably fine. My righteous sister in faith, must these discussions take place now at such a moment? The enemy is watchful, and its forces are great. That is what we must turn our attention to, not scrutinizing our fellow crusaders. 
Maybe uh, let me know in the comments if the in-game audio needs to go up any. It's probably fine, right? Hopefully. In the hundred years that this war has lasted, not a day has gone by when I haven't thought about how we can win it. That is precisely why we cannot delay the conversation any longer. You have my full attention, my queen. Your forbearance is most appreciated. A commander's absolute priority is leading the Crusader armies. And I cannot help but notice that you have handled this part of your responsibilities well. I have successfully executed the role of a military commander during the assault on Dresden and persevered the better part... Oh, preserved the better part of your army. Nice. I cannot but notice your strange choice of companions. The good gods teach us to seek the light even in the darkest soul and to believe in redemption. But it is one thing to believe in the good intentions of a murderous succubus and... For example, send her to a temple of Desna to be cared for by experienced priests. But it is another matter entirely to take the demon with you to the front lines, where one well-timed stab in the back could put a tragic end to our entire Crusader cause. It is unthinkably reckless. With all due respect, my lady, Arushalay has proven herself to be a faithful and reliable comrade. She has fought bravely for us, and we both want to see the demons defeated. Is there any reason to reproach the commander for accepting her into our party? You can find reasons aplenty in any Mendevian cemetery, Sila. Each one is full of the graves of those who were deceived by demons. So it looks like we have some options here. I can, only because I'm Angel, I don't need any proof of her loyalty. I see the light in Arusha the Soul, and I know what she is... I know she is true that she truly wants to change. Then there's, I trust her completely. She's not only a loyal friend, but living proof that even demons can change for better. And then there's intimidate. Let me remind you uh, that you were the one who assigned Nura Dendawar to my entourage, who turned out to be a Baphomet cultist. So which of us is incapable of choosing worthy companions? I am pretty much guaranteed to succeed any of these. I feel like it makes the most chance to choose the most since to choose my mythic path although honestly this one is is a chad answer <laughs> it's like bitch no <laughs> uh i think i think we're just doing the uh the angel path though i don't need any proof of her loyalty i see the light in arushula's soul and i know that she truly wants to change this would sound like mere bravado from anyone else. But you, you are closer to the light than most of my comrades. You might actually be able to see the light in others. Thank you. I can't believe you really said that. With the moments of the queen beginning to speak, Rushula seems turned to stone. But now she releases a breath and softly and says softly what she said earlier. I also wish to mention what you did with Iomade's banner, the Sword of Valor. This sacred relic handed to you to defend the city against the demons has become a reflection of you. I do not know how you managed to distort its features, but I cannot overlook it. I only pray that Iomade will forgive us all for this most improper treatment of her relic. That is all I wish to say. And now... To summarize, well, apart from the matter of the succubus in your party, which we have just clarified, I find nothing unworthy in the manner in which you have fulfilled your responsibilities. Is she? I just realized she's like underneath the horse. <laughs> she's just chilling. What is the... Oh, just... And then I've got a giant-sized Sela on top of it <laughs> with wings and shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Which is why it pains me all the more to announce that I am relieving you of your post. You are no longer the leader of the Fifth Crusade. Hmm. My queen, you and I both believe in good and justice. So do what is good and just. Don't take away the title I have rightly earned.
Throughout the Queen's entire speech, Daeran is silent. But his silence is more expressive than an entire crowd yelling profanity. This is why I always take payment up front. The customers become very shifty when everything is done. I deeply respect the desire to bring discipline to the Crusades. But not all the accusations you level at the Commander are guided by that desire. His voice was so low, I could barely hear it. My righteous sister, you are entitled to make such a decision, but please reconsider whether this is the right one. He is not just the Crusade Commander. He is our hope. Our only hope. Our only hope is he? I see you do not value me or the other heroes of the Crusade very highly, my righteous brother and comrade. <sighs> Forgive me. I overreacted. You are doubtlessly right, my brother. As are you. I shall let you retain the formal title of leader of the Crusade. It would be wrong to take it from you. But I shall still be taking over command of the armies. Hold your objections. There is a reason for this. Nehendrian crystals were brought here to Galarian through this rift. I shall do everything to ensure this route is blocked from now on. I shall destroy all the paths from the Midnight Fane to Dresden, blocking the passages with rocks if I have to, so that demons passing through this indestructible rift cannot descend upon the city. This is a forced measure. I am doing this for the safety of Dresden, but this won't solve the problem. We should... No, we must track the demon's path and settle this issue once and for all. And that means venturing into the Abyss. No one but you, with your unique power, can handle this task. That is why I shall take over the command of the Crusader armies, and you will journey forth on this great mission. If you destroy the Fane in its exit, how will I return to Galarian? Don't worry about that. I will go with you, and I know the secrets of traveling between planes. I have also been to the Abyss before, and I have fought the beasts that dwell there. My sword and my experience will help you on this mission. Hell yeah. In the Lexicon of Paradox, a Rilu Vorlish's book, it says there are five such rifts within the borders of the World Wound. Blocking the exit from the Fane will only deprive the demons of one of their five routes here. Wait a moment. And where is this lexicon of paradox now? I would also like to take a look at it. But I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it doesn't fit with my character. But I feel like... Wasn't... I don't know. I'll just give it to her. Here it is. Take it. Thank you. This knowledge could prove very important. We may even use it to deal with the world wound itself. I shall have my finest court majors examine this book. Hmm. Until the problem of the Nehendrian crystals is solved, you won't be able to win. I'm going to the Abyss. We will go to the Abyss side by side, champion. And Dresden will greet us with jubilation on the day of our return. Wish me luck as well. Until next we meet. Ooh, level ups as well. Mm, so I assume this takes me to the Abyss? Also, hang on. Loot! Loot up! I don't know what that is, but it looks fancy. We'll play plus one. Disappointing. Like crossbow, don't need that. Heavy shield, plus one. Old iron longsword, plus one. What's that? Gold coin with Baphomet's mark. What does that do? Gold coin that could be used. That used to belong to the Baylor Dazarand. Mark of the Demon Lord Baphomet etched into the coin face. Interesting. Doesn't seem to do too much. What's that? Rupturing storm. Scimitar. Plus four scimitar deals an additional three to six fire damage. On a critical hit, it creates fire sparks that stick to allies' weapons, granting them flaming enchantment for one D3 rounds, as well as granting the wielder and allies fire resistance to 25% duration. Not that great. Uh, I feel like so much stuff is going to be resistant to fire that it 
probably doesn't matter. Also, I don't really have anyone who uses a, a scimitar. A scimitar. Uh, minutes, menace of death. Whenever someone dies within a 10-foot radius from the wearer, this amulet of natural armor plus three, uh, the wearer gets the effect of the haste spell for 2d3 rounds. This effect is renewed each time someone dies. After the effect wears off, the wearer cannot make any weapon or unarmed attacks for 1d3. Interesting. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Are these all masterworks? They are. Hmm. I'll think about that one. Let's go and level up. Did I get a mythic level? I didn't look like I got a mythic level. I feel like that should have been like a mythic feat of some sort. Surely. Uh, where's the bonus up for him? That's kind of cool. Nice. Uh, what we got here? His usual stats. Okay, that was easy. We're going to have to go through spells in a bit. Got a paladin. Strength bonus up. That's nice. Uh, it's the classic, the usual. The same old, same old. Ooh, nice. I got additional smite usage. Everyone is happy about that. We got our blaster caster, as they say. She's kind of nuts. Maybe even a little bit OP. Oh, I have more points. Hog. Spell specialization. I mean, it's just fireball again, right? Just always fireball. Don't I already have spell specialization fireball? I guess I get, it lets you re-choose whenever you level up in case you want to take like a higher level spell. The thing is, Fireball is already OP. So we're just taking Fireball again. Um, and we get to pick some spells here. Sunburst. Sunburst causes a globe of searing radiance to explode silently from a point you select. All creatures in the globe are blinded. Take 66 points of damage. Successful reflex save negates the blindness and reduces the damage by half. An undead creature. That doesn't do that much damage. It's only 66. Uh, a blue a white ray of freezing air springs from your hand. You must succeed on a ranged touch attack when the ray deals damage to a target. Ray deals 1d6 point of damage per cast level, up to 25d6, and 1d4 point of dexterity trim. I feel like not that great. That's fun. Frightful aspect. That's a fun spell. Uh, but it's personal, so we can't cast it on anyone else. Um, Iron Body. That's also personal. Mind Blank. Meh. Protection from spells. That's a buff. It is 10 minutes per level, though. Plus 8 resistance bonus on saving throws against spells and spell-like abilities. I mean, that's almost definitely worth taking. Even though she's the blaster caster, not the... Not the, uh... Buff person, that's still really good. That's a very strong spell, I feel like. Other things are things I want, and I guess we just take one of these... Ray first. Sure. Alright. You smiley face. Dex up again. That's pretty huge. We can get charisma up later if we want to, but I feel like right now we just want the dex for better hits and stuff. Uh she has so much so many things. Uh, what a what a strong character. Uh, fighter. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to keep going fighter for him. Uh, dex up. Get him one point closer to another dex bonus. Then what do we got here? Just do the same, same old, same old. Yeah. He's not really... 
But we just take armor training here again. Um. Now that I think about it, armor training actually doesn't do anything. He's already got the mythical feat for uh, improved heavy armor. So he's already got zero armor penalty. That's what I'm saying. Local hit or sneak attack is sneak that's when I'm hit by it. Won't use it. Already have heavy armor specialization. Just gives me damage resistance while having heavy armor. What against bonus on intimidate checks? Eh. Art takes us to attack rolls. It and build mastery, absolutely not. I mean, so armor juggernaut's the only thing that I would consider, but I feel like it it has to be better than just taking armor training again, because we've already got like infinite. It has to be better. Uh. I mean, look, we can even, we can swap the armor training and hit next and see the armor class value doesn't change. So armor juggernaut is just better. And then I guess crit deflection is, is better than, would also have been better. All right, anyway, 40 speed, nice. Okay, Sila, Aladine, Gronk. Oh. Oh. It's five for plate, yeah, rough. Now we gotta do spells. Suffered enough. Why are you all the way to the left? Shouldn't I be first in the party? What's going on here? Alright, spell book. Oh boy. Oh, frightful aspect. I'm probably gonna take that, huh? Hmm. Delicious tea. Okay, let's 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 make sure do we get any more spell slots here no no okay, we got a new spell slot here that's kind of cool um so we already have wisdom endurance so i could do bull strength that would free up these slots I also do Eagle's Splendor. Gives me Charisma bonus. I feel like the Strength bonus is just better. And then we take this these off. What do I want here now? This is the big question. We could take some extra lesser restorations. Just for ability scores. Uh, whenever I have ability drain, I should say. We already have effortless armor on. Uh, we could take a bunch of protection from uh, alignment. I mean, they're, it's not terrible. It's not. So, who was I doing strength on before? I guess it doesn't really matter. Everyone's going to have the strength bonus. I guess I could take some Eagle Splendor. It's fine. I'm too lazy to really take it. I mean, I, rest, Lesser Restation would also be great. Aren't you running Eagle Splendor already? Or. 
What else would I take on you if I didn't take Eagle Splendor? I don't think anything else here really matters. On another good creature for a short time, if using the creature with a portion of your hold. That would be super duper good, but I don't have that many good characters that are not already a paladin. Literally just him, huh? You're neutral. You're apparently neutral as well. You're lawful evil. I don't have enough good characters. Um. So I could have another eagle splendor right here. Which means you... Where are you? You probably just take... Uh, lesser Restoration. Alright. Those are full up. Those are full. Greater Restoration, huh? Is there nothing else here that's useful? That's an attack spell. Don't care. So Grace of the Champion. It's round per level. I don't care. I'm really looking for buffs that last more than round per level. Eh. Destruction. No. 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 Resurrection might be some might be required at some point, but I feel like I, sh I have some scrolls of resurrection or raised dead or whatever. Raised dead, and then and then I just create a restoration the the debuffs away. So we probably don't need the resurrection, honestly. I could have it just in case, though. We could also just, like, summon shit, right? Wave of Nut. Holy Ward. The enemy. to say. Umbral Strike, that is also an attack. Doop, doop. So it's either, I think it's either Resurrection, a Summon ability, or just another Greater Restoration. To be fair, the Greater Restorations are like clutch. So sure, just take another one. Um, And then here, this one's pretty poggers. So what are our options here? We already have Egelic Aspect Greater. Don't need... That's round per level. That's a heal. This this one's really fun. I enjoy this. We might we might try and take it. It is a polymorph ability. We have to keep that in mind for him. We can't... Greater, we can't enlarge him or anything. But that's totally fine. I wish we could cast this on someone else. We could uh, Frightful Aspect like my guy. Uh, that's an attack thing. That's an attack thing. Attack. We don't care. What is this? Round per level. It's a lot of words. Shield of Law. It's also round per level. Unfortunate. Summon Elder Elemental. An attack. Reaver. That's an attack. Summon. We already have Holy Orb. Why would we use Unholy Orb? Okay, so I think we're just taking this, dude. Uh, enemies within the aura are shaken. So uh, this is a curious thing, right? I believe, according to Pathfinder rules... If they're within this guy's aura, they're shaken, right? And then if I hit people in my intimidate effects, they're also shaken. To my understanding of Pathfinder rules, the shaken should upgrade from shaken because they're already shaken into fear. This was a wombo combo I had when playing actual tabletop Pathfinder. I was a cleric, a dwarven cleric, and I had Frightful Aspect. And then one of our people was a dirge bard who applied shaken to people in fear. So basically we had like these, he would be dirging and then I would just be a big scary dwarf man. And then the two shaken abilities would always stack and become frightened. Uh, so we'll see if the game plays out the same way. If so, that's going to be pretty nutty. All right. So did we get any new spells here? Nope. Yes. These are not as useful as I was hoping. 
Um, I feel like I need anything. I already have the effortless armor. I, there's not enough good characters in my party to bestow, bestow grace on. It's round. Only one minute. Hmm. Already have that, and it lasts 24 hours. I mean, I could just get some more Blessing of Courage and Life. How many of those do I already have? See? Oh. Now we have four. Yes. Nothing new here. New here. I didn't I didn't get a mythic level, so all the same here. Alright. Big big spellcaster. Casting all of the spells. Okay, we got another wait, I skipped third level. Alright, do we want more basic fireballs or another haste? I feel like we want more haste. Even though I haven't been I haven't been casting it as much lately, it's it's really good when I do cast. Um, and getting one more basic fireball, I feel like, is not that big of a deal. Legendary proportions, huh? Then it per level, you call upon primordial. Oh, I would use that instead of... Oh, that is a pretty nutty spell, actually. Why haven't I been using this? I guess I just wanted the spell slots for casting. Legendary proportions. I guess it does take drag dinosaur bones, which I don't have a ton of. But, like, casting that on my boy Gellius could be pretty nuts. Also, just more fireball. Cosmetic spray is very fun, um, but I think just fireballs are better. Do I want to take legendary proportions for my boy? Do I? Um, it does. It's gonna last what? Acid level sixteen minutes. pretty good. I mean, 60 minutes is... That should be long enough, right? I don't need the 24-hour buff on him. Let's take one. It'll be fun. It'll be spicy. Got more casts here. Oh, okay. These were... I do I do like greater shout, actually. Just another one. Okay. Next. Getting new spells. Did you got another one? Let's oh, take another bark skin. Bark skin's so good. Wait, why why am I not taking more bark skins instead of since vitals? I mean since vitals is nice, but I don't think it's that good. Not compared to bark skin, right? In in bark skin pretty nutty. Bells, you are full up. Okay, so now we need to go look to our buff setup. Got some changes. Um, Shield of Faith is already on six people. Effortless armor is being cast. Find traps. Arc Aura, magical vestment. Is that working properly? I don't know if that actually matters at all. Is that changing my AC? Well, we're gonna pretend like it is. Uh, protection for fall. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the protections. Uh, we need full strength masks. Cast on yourself. It'll go to every. Rightful aspect. I will probably hand cast when needed.
Oh, no, no, wait. No, no, I'm sorry. That's that's the self-buff one. That you can just cast whenever. Holy aura. That's round per level? Uh. Disappointed. Okay. Courage, bestow grace. Okay, we got more of these. Blessing of luck and life. Boom. It's not doing much, remember? It's literally just like buffing your saves against death effects because we're already immune to fear because of the paladins in my party. Uh, okay. Shield from demon kind. Still interesting. Okay. Ward against immune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are all good. Okay. So, do we want to take enlarge person off of Gellius and replace it with frightful aspect? We sure could. Not frightful aspect. Uh, the big, yeah, legendary proportions. We don't need to enlarge anyone else. So I guess that, that'll just save us one cast of enlarged person. That's fine. Um, mirror image, definitely keep on. Legendary proportions is now on. Hurricane bow is on. Feather step. Bark skin. We have two extra bark skin casts. We can cast that on him. And the pony? Yeah. Those are everyone who could be in the front line. Wait, is the pony... How much natural armor does the pony have already? Yeah, it's probably fine. Million Stride is on. Long Strider is on. Feather Step is on. Animal Growth. I haven't been casting it. We could. We have Eagle Splendor. So who else? You're good. So the Eagle's buff will actually help you. No one else is good, so I don't think Eagle Splendor matters. I already have big bonus to Charisma, I'm pretty sure. No one else needs it. Actually, she might want it. If I had one more Eagle Splendor, but I don't. It's fine. Okay. I think that's it. Do I want to start casting this? It could be fun. So from my understanding, I was talking to my roommate about it, the animal growth on the horse. Apparently it makes the horse just like too big, where it's like inconvenient to play. <laughs> we'll see what it's like, and if we don't like it, we can always take it off. Uh, but there we go. We've finally leveled up. We have all of our buffs set up again. Um, let's quick save. And let's go see what it's like on the other side, baby. But we have so many wings. I'm really surprised that didn't give me a mythic level. Apparently I left some things behind. Masterwork, semi scimitars. Basic daggers, don't need those. Basic daggers, I assume. Crappy armor, don't need those. These masterwork, we'll take them. Masterwork, we'll take them. Masterwork, we'll take them. Getting a little heavy. I assume I purposely left these because they weren't masterworked or anything. Like this I just missed. Okay, there we go. Leaf! The commander has stepped through the rift. And now there is no going back. Onward. To solitude. To the unknown. To the abyss. Hey. Okay, so I think this is officially the end of Act 3 and the start of Act 4. So I guess Act 4 is just going to be in the abyss. Hell yeah. Strong. We did, like, one turn kill that boss. Maybe I'm a little too OP. Maybe I'm trying too hard. I don't know. Oh, did I just get mythic levels? I might have. Just... Hey, what are you doing back here? What? Why are you staying there? Where are you? What are you doing? 
You stand by yourself. Champion! How extraordinary! I sensed a surge in the power within you the moment you boldly stepped forth into the rift. I was there, following you into the abyss, but it was as though I suddenly found myself in the blessed expanse of the upper plains. Angel turns his head and surveys the bleak landscape that has been revealed to you. His movements are growing tense. Even the soft golden glow that usually emanates from him is fading. So that's where this rift leads, to the realm of the most cunning of all the demon lords. This location is familiar to me, but, the fact, but that fact brings me neither joy nor consolation. The Abyss, home of demons, and the heart of everything Iomade hates. Oh, how you wish you could rain cleansing flames down on this entire place. But your goddess is far away. You can't defeat its endless demonic legions on your own. You know that it won't be easy for you. But you are duty-bound to fight to the last. Ah, the Abyss. This is not a hospitable place, but just imagine how many experiments we can conduct here. How many marvelous demons we can study. The Abyss. I swore I would never come back here. Everything here dredges up old memories. Everything here just screams... This is your true home. I cursed the night at home. One day the legions of the righteous will march through this place and trample its residents to dust. Alas, we won't live long enough to witness that day. But we can bring it closer eating our mission. What can you tell me about this place? These are the Midnight Isles. This is the realm of Nocticula. The Lady in Shadow. Every corner of the Abyss is repellent in its own way. This place. This is where one truly walks on corpses. The corpses of demon lords that were treacherously murdered. Every monster slain by Nocticula becomes an island. Like the one we're standing on right now. This place seems to be created specifically to befuddle the hearts and minds of the righteous. What I mean is that the demon lords are our enemies and their deaths should please us. But as I look at this black sky, I realize that sometimes the death of evil creates even greater. Why would Nocticula kill the other demon lords? For power, of course. Every new murder she commits extends her realm, and the greater her realm, the greater her power. The ambitions of the Lady in Shadow are great, and she knows no mercy, so the archipelago has become much larger in the millennium of her womb here. In the millennia of her womb. What does Nocticula have to do with the invasion of the Arian? I do not know. Before the idol that we saw the Midnight Fane, I had not seen any trace of her influence in the world wound. It's no wonder the Lady in Shadow va values guile, subterfuge, and devious plots. I would not be surprised if it turns out she has been secretly aiding Baphomet and Discari since the first day of the invasion. What should I be wary of here? Be wary... Beware every shadow. This is the abyss, the plane of chaos and evil. I it would not it would be fair to compare our mission to that of spies sent deep into enemy territory. We do not belong here, and everyone and everything that does not seek to kill us on sight will either kill us slowly or use us for unimaginable evil. It's a shame that we cannot hope for the protection of the Sword of Valor in this place, or of the one who used to wield it. You should have sensed it already. How differently, how different everything feels without the banner's holy protection. What is our plan? We need to find the source of the Hydrian crystals and destroy it forever. Awesome. We know for certain that the crystals were transported to the world wound through the rift that we use to get here. What we do, uh, what we must do ne uh, right now is take, is take a thorough look around. 
and I'm having trouble reading. Blah, 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 blah. We need to understand that this place is what this place is and what they were doing with the crystals here. Whether they were creating them or mining them or bringing them here from elsewhere. I would also like to know who was in charge of the demons on this side of the rift. There may still be traces here, or even some documents or witnesses. I see. Onward. Be careful, champion. I will wait for you here. Alright, we got mythic levels. There we go. Okay. What am I taking? So we have enduring, and we have greater enduring. We have domain zealot. We have mythic channeling. Energy heal increased based on career. It's kind of pug. Um, bypass epic damage reduction. Well, that's just the default thing. So these are what we've taken so far. Um, I feel like we don't need abundant cat. I feel like he's doing okay with the spell slots he has, and getting more spell slots would not do that much. Mind as hard as any armor, making dangerous to each bonus equal to your own tier. Uh, I don't think we need that. We have so many buffs already. Pain Meta Mastery would be interesting. I don't feel like we need it though. That seems kind of nut. Nah. Surely I already have that on you, huh? Oh, I don't even have that on you? Oh my god, that's just gross. I mean, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't just take it. I already have Armor Master, which... Uh... Disgustingly good. Might seem disgustingly good. Treat bonus from your armor as having... I feel like that's almost overkill, right? Is that insane? Uh, extra smites is like, I mean, abundant casting is useless. He doesn't cast. Uh, what else would we want here? That's fun. Interesting. We don't need caster level stuff. Uh. I mean, wait, don't we... We haven't even taken the one that increases damage based on hits, huh? You or critical hit, double any precision. No, you don't use precision. Okay, that's useful. Shadows, mythic charge, and eh, shapeshifter, no. Drop mount. Create a surge of mythic power that frees you from magic. So that's not bad, on it. It's not... I feel like it's not necessary... That's ranged only. Thundering blows is like not bad, right? Build 2d6, it's just if you miss. Once per round when your melee attack misses. Floating assault. Oh, this is the one. Just increases my damage constantly. So damage up or just insane AC? I mean, I kind of want to see just how, frankly, absurd we can get his class. Maximum increase of half your mythic rank plus one. What mythic rank is this? One, two, five. So half is two plus one. Okay, so it's, it's a plus three bonus to my AC. That's going to increase as I get more mythic ranks. Or we do the damage buff. I feel like the damage buff was probably better. But also, this one's really funny. Just the most ankiest gnome in existence. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Um, Let's do it, dude. Let's do it. It's so good. Tracy. Oh <laughs> my god, it's almost 50. Ooh, woo. 
That's that's nice. I like that. <laughs> Alright, what am I taking on this idiot? Um Like I don't know. Actually, I should probably end this episode, huh? Uh, let's finish ranking up my people before I end the episode. Let's take let's look at let's look at me. Me, smiley face. I mean obviously we're an angle. We're an angling angle. We got a mythic ability here. So what do we already have, right? We have a lot of things. We have enduring greater enduring. Greater enduring. Six shatter defenses, dazzling attacks, leave your opponent. Opponent you affect is flat footed to all attacks, not. Our attack mythic is just damage, haha. <laughs> um, I feel like the combats don't last very many rounds, which is why I think um, the unrelenting assault is kind of a debate. You know what I mean? The like literally that boss fight lasted a single turn. I think that's a debate. Honestly, I think I just want to be fast. Like I'm thinking, do I wait? Oh, do I have the crit thing? Oh, I don't think I have the crit. Oh, okay, maybe it's just maximize critical. The other thing I was thinking is just the impossible speed. It's actually really good. It's actually quite nice. Just to be fast. Um, however, I do think... Third hit with a... That's going to be good for my ranged unit. But uh, I think it's just max crit. And then I want to increase my... Did I not take the... Improved critical already? Defenses, power. Oh, that's some, that's surprising. I need to take improved critical for sure. Uh, all right, maximize critical. Oh wait, I already have improved critical as a feat. So, anyway. Blinding light, whenever the uh, angelic halo is active, an enemy that attacks the angel first time in a round must pass fortitude save or he is blinded for 1d4 rounds. Hmm. He's 10 plus half your character level, which plus your mythic rank is 5, plus your highest ability mod. It's, wait, highest up. I don't know what that means. Oh, that's like my strength ability modifier. That's like plus 9 or something like that? Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty high. Burning Bright, Ancient... Whenever the angelic halo is active, all demons and undead creatures in the 50-foot radius suffer points of holy damage each round. Like, that's unnecessary. We already... We, we have damage in the party. The angelic halo is active. Whenever an ally suffers damage, they receive fast healing equal to angel's mythic rank for one round. Whenever the angelic halo is active, all enemies in a 50-foot area suffer penalty to spell resistance. I haven't had too much problem overcoming spell resistance lately. As well as penalty to all saving throws. Act of all allies in the 50-foot get a bonus to fire, cold, acid, electricity resistance. Five. We have, like, full immunity to all of those because of the spells that I take. I don't think that's necessary. Oh, it helps Sonic and Negative, which we I don't think we have the immunity to. It also helps the... That's not bad. Unfailing Beacon. Whenever the Angel Halo is active, the Angel doesn't suffer any damage from allies, spells that have area of effect. If the Angel is the main target of such a spell, it becomes empowered. Though through the power spell... Target such a spell. What? Mm. What? That one. 
I don't think we need that. I don't think we need the solar rays either, to be honest. The blinding light is not bad. I don't feel like the just AoE damage isn't very. Free healing is like, eh. It might be piercing. Solar Winds is also not. Solar Winds is just a buff. It might be Solar Winds, actually. It might actually be Solar Winds. Because it gives you resistance that doesn't actually exist normally, like the Holy Unholy Force as well as Sonic and Negative. All right, because I already have the Fire, Cold, Acid, Electric. I might have Sonic as well. I definitely shouldn't have Negative. I'm going to take the Solar Winds. Interesting. So it's equal to 3 for the Mythic level. Uh, mythic rank in Force, Unholy, Holy. Which is not a lot, but it's 5. I'm going to take it. I feel like the others are just not super required. The, the other one I might take would be Piercing Ring. But she has... My my one caster has so much spell penetration, she really should be able to find. This is the other one I was thinking about, the fast healing. Only for one round, though. So it's like, it's not that good. Yeah, I feel like it's this or Blinding Light. I'm going to take this. Play new spells. Okay. Get out of here. Uh, okay, this, this episode's going to go long. Sorry. Sorry. We already have Greater Enduring Enduring. One, huh? It's just Armored Might for you. Or Armored Mastery. Uses armor check penalty by one per mythic rank and increases your maximum dex bonus. Additionally, reduce your arcane. Eh. Armor might. So good. I feel like I'm just going tankiness, right? Got enough attack damage and everything. So, to be fair, I feel like out of everyone. She would be better with the uh, unrelenting assault than the other people. Because of the fact she's on a horse, she's like always running in, getting in ring. Maximize crit is good. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's always just classically good. Guarantees max damage whenever you do crit. Um, I really need that. That. Um... A lot of things that are... What's the one that just gives everyone a little bone? Inspirational leader. We need to get that on someone. It's like... It's good enough that I feel like I should take it. But I haven't taken it yet because there's so many other things that are just better. Your allies with a 50 can bonus equal to half your mythic rank... Plus one to their initiative, saving throws against mind effect and effect, and concentration. It's pretty good. Especially the initiative bonus, honestly. Just being able to act before the enemies, especially since we're like one shotting so much stuff. I feel like it's pretty good. I think we just make her, we either make her tankier or we give her the shapeshifter, or sorry, the maximized crit. Already took Mythic Beast. Is there any other uh, things that buff a animal companion? Search. Some companion. Nothing come. Oh, nothing.
Really? There's a whole section for mounted combat, but it but there's nothing. That's weird. All right, all right. I need to make a decision. Hmm. 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 Just take a like classically. What is her dex right now? Let's find that out, right? What is your dex even at? It's only at a plus two. It's only at a plus two, so that means the one that increases... Uh... That means the armor master's not that insane. I mean, it's good, but it's not its not crazy. Um, it does reduce the armor check penalty, which is which is good, but I think we take, uh, take armored might. I don't want to take armored might. I'm, oh, wait, I already, I already picked my thing. What did I pick? <laughs> what did I take? I took the maximized crit. Getting armored might on me would probably be pretty good as well. I stand ready. My AC, 36, 43, 48. Yeah, that's a pretty big difference. Um, all right, you, smiley face. You have maximized crit. You have cleaving shot. You have rapid shot, deadly aim. Um, you shoot a lot of times. Every third hit with a ranged weapon against the same enemy deals additional 1d6 per two. That's pretty good. Ranged weapon attacks are dangerous enough for them to forget about melee attacks. If you hit an enemy with a ranged weapon attack, they receive a penalty on AC against melee attacks. I feel like if she's hitting them, they should be dying. Ranging shots every time you miss, gain a plus one bonus. Or the bigger they are, the easier they are for you to hit with your ranged weapons. Gain bonus on attack rolls with ranged weapons equal to AC. Equal to penalty. Make big things easier to hit. Or do more damage for things that you do hit. Take the damage. Right. Getting close here to be done. Uh, oh man, she's going to make me think. So right now we've got the Ascended Element, Bonded, Joseph Arcane Meta Mastery, Spell Mythic. I feel like I already have Ascended Element. Greater Arcane Meta Mastery is pretty nutty, right? I can quicken everything. Quicken for more. Favorite Meta Magic? Nice Meta Moon. I like the kind of Meta Magic. The spell level costs for its use. Last level check did a spell and effect or over or resist roll twice and take the hot. I mean, that's also quite good. I feel like just greater arcane meta magic though. Meta master. It I like that's real good. I mean it, it lets her uh Hang on, where do you see? Where, where am I? Uh, so maximize is plus three. Selective plus one. Bolster spell is plus one. What is quicken? Um, she clearly doesn't know Quicken yet. So we can now maximize our spells for free. It's kind of nice. Um. We haven't learned quick. Why is there just a blank feed here? 
Oh, that'll be next level up. We get a new feet. <laughs> what are you going on? All right, last guy. Last guy. So... I don't need abundant casting. I mean, it wouldn't be bad. It would take up until Mythic level 9 to get the last one. I don't know if it's really... That many spells. No, no, there's there's no way it's abundant. Summon gain a piece of mythic power creature. Summon gain a bonus dex. Um half your That's interesting. We could do him secondary. I like that's not necessary. Gain your mythic power into vigoration interaction. No, no. He's, he's actually useful in combat when I use him properly. We don't need battle meditation. We don't need jokes. Boundless healing. No, you don't actually cast cure that much. Possible domain could be interesting. He, he might just be an inspira inspirational leader. Just at free bonus to my initiative when around me. As well as saving throws against mind affecting and effects. I got the big things I wanted, which was mythic channeling. Pretty good. Enduring spells. Double. Domain sell it. Wait. Ah. Oh. The domain sell it was the big one. Quick cat. Definitely not. I think it's just inspirational lead. We have more things, and later we probably just think. Fiveable. I think that's pretty good. We could get an arcane meta mastery, actually. Ooh, what would we take on this arcane? No, no, never mind. Arcane meta mastery is kind of. Oh, we probably just take abundant casting and. St uh, oh, wait, no. Hmm. I don't know what we take on him later, but I think inspirational leader is pretty good right now. Yeah, let's just take it. Woo. All right, we did it. Sorry, I went pretty far over an hour. Um, we will pick up next time. What are you doing Together back there? We stand. Get over here. I will guide us. Uh, but yeah, we are in the abyss, and this is the very start of Act Four. Ooh, Ooh. what's going on down there? Anyway, have a good one. Bye bye, bye bye. Hope you enjoyed my level up choices. If you think I did something horribly wrong, tell me. What did I do wrong? What did I do? Hang on. Let me swap some of you guys around. Like you should be in the very back. You touch people. You can be in the middle. There we go. That's that better? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye.